discs and a few basics. Just going to go over. Um, obviously, you've got your spinning disc here. Spins very fast. Um, so safety wise, you don't want to be touching it while it's spinning around. This table, if I was building it again, I would make a bit closer, tighter into the disc. So this gap here is not so big. Um, so one of the worst things that could happen with the disc sander safety wise is your hand or a bit of your clothing or something getting jammed between the table and the disc and being caught up in there. Um, similarly if you've got little bits, um, something like that that you want to do, this gap's a bit of a problem here because what can happen is it, it can catch and go down like that and you probably just about get away with that one. But if something jams like that between the disc and the table, it's not good at all. Uh, so you have to apply quite a lot of sort of downwards force on the back end of a little piece like this to stop it from upending and keep it stable. Um, so what I do for small bits is I use the circle cutting jig. And there's another video on the circle cutting jig. So I use this, which comes nice and tight in to the disc, so there's very little gap there. So you can get your small little bit, and you don't have to worry at all about it moving, basically. It's totally supported. Another safety thing, just guarding is a good thing in general. So um, all this, I think, is, I think you could think of it as a total necessity for if you're building your own, uh, especially this one where I've often got to reach round the back there to turn it on and off. Uh, if you can imagine doing that a lot, passing it by. I mean, even now my sleeve's coming quite close to the spinning disc, which is not good. So which comes to another thing, it's often it's a good idea to just roll your sleeves up or certainly not have baggy sleeves anyway when you're working on the table. So that's some basics. Um, let's try out. This is a draw for a bandsaw box that I've been making. Um, so the disc sander is pretty excellent for this. All we're going to do is take away the machining lines from the bandsaw and tidy up those glue lines. The dust kicked out by these disc sanders is incredible, so extraction's necessary. Now on this one, what happens is the disc is spinning this way around. You always want to be sanding mainly on this half. Towards the middle, it'll be going quite slow, and out towards the edge, it'll be going incredibly fast. So if you don't want to remove so much stock, 
your sand in there. If you wanted to just go for it, big aggressive cutting off, go at the edge. And you don't, wouldn't really want to go in this half at all much, um, because what will tend to happen is it will just lift it up while I show you. Um, if we put it on. So it's going around that way. And happily sand there. Over this side. Yeah, it sort of wants to hop up and go go where it should basically. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. If you've got a big piece, something like this, um, then you can sort of get away with putting it in the middle as long as you're aware and you're ready to hold that edge down, you can get away with moving it along like that. Um, that way you can do quite big pieces 